what up, happy people? We're here in sunny South Florida. But Austin, on the other hand, is stuck in traffic up north in an ice storm. That's the problem. Every single one of these roads is just covered in ice. That's not one. Yeah, he's in an ice storm. Hey, new subscriber. <laughs> Thank you, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> what can we do today just to have a good time? There's not a cloud in the sky, not a breath of wind, and we're on the skiff. We're in a place called Lake Okeechobee. That's the largest lake in Florida. It's one of the largest landlocked lakes in the lower 48. And one of our main fish that we fish for here are called specks. Other places they call them crappie. Louisiana, they call them sockele. But I called my friend Brad Gibson. He has a charter business called the 3G Outfitters. He told me, come to Indian Prairie Canal and fish. I'm like, can you give me anything other than that? He's like, just fish. You're gonna catch fish. And here we are. We went to Okeechobee Fast Break. Hey, keep looking at your, oh, right there's one. That just happened in real time. Like Brad said, just fish, you're gonna catch them. What's up, happy people? You know the difference in being old and beat up and mature and refined? A good beard trim. I'd like to thank Manscaped for sponsoring this video. And look, I'm new to facial hair. My whole life, I've been clean shaven, but Sarah loves facial hair. She calls it my scruff. There were so many trimmers that were like dangerous on my face and you couldn't have in the shower and you had to plug in. Well, my Beard Hedger Pro kit really works well. See this, this little wheel right here? You can set it at whatever you want and then turn it on just like that. If it's plugged in, it will not work in the shower. I guarantee you that. And I can take it on trips with me so I have it. If you have a longer beard, they have the shampoo, the beard conditioner, the beard balm, the beard oil, and some scissors. You also have some directions how to help you. So if you're into keeping your wife happy and looking your best, check out manscaped.com. Use promo code DMFD20 for 20% off plus free international shipping. Hey, just fish. They're starting to bite, y'all. That was a little too small. Now I get to show y'all what we're using. You have a float, and this float slides like that. You have a little stopper right there. See that stopper? That tells you how deep you're fishing. And we're fishing about two feet deep. Got him. Right there. You know they're biting now. I that was my rod. Well, I, it's substituted for mine. <laughs> when you come down here and you go to do this, go to the boat ramp. No matter what boat ramp you're at, there's going to be a lot of people in and out. Some people are getting ready. Some people are fast. Just be patient, you know? When you're in the canal like this, some people are going to come running by you. That's just the way it is. It's like, oh, who cares? These fish are used to people running by. You ready? Yes. What do you want to catch? I want to catch mostly this. Bass? What do you want to catch, Maverick? Maverick wants to catch a big one. What do you got there? Oh my God, that's a big one. That's a whopper. Oh my gosh. That's a big one. Here, bring me the line. Bring me the line. Bring me the line. Oh, look at that. Yes. Maverick, no. Yes, you got one. Nah. Hey, 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 you're only supposed to catch so many now. <laughs> hey, where y'all from? Richmond, Kentucky. Say it in English, though. Richmond, Kentucky. <laughs> Dad, Dad. No, 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 no. You got it, boy. When you go to Okeechobee Fast Break, get some minnows or jigs or your safety gear. The question is, how many crappie do you think we're going to catch this afternoon? 
Ten. Oh, come ten! On. Come on, I'm gonna catch ten! Right on the dock. Hey. What? How many fish no. are we gonna catch? How many fish are we gonna catch? You're gonna be on the camera, so it's either zero or... <laughs> She wishes not to answer the question. Got one right here. I was like, what's that noise? I'm like, it's a, it's a fish. Maverick. I caught like three or four on this rod already. You ain't gonna catch them sitting on the couch. You know what they say. Can't catch them on the couch. Yes, I can smell it now. Have you ever had coconut fried crappie? No, I haven't. Sounds pretty good though, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. This is gonna be good fish right here. Take your finger, try to figure out where the, where, where, the, bend of the hook is try to... you're about to get one right there is it pretty Boy. lay down lay down lay down lay down is it pretty good <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing just training Maverick this is the funniest one is it pretty He's like six like a possum. Right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm having a dry spell. So that right there, that's a nice one. But he's gotta go back. Got a good one? Oh, it's a catfish. I lost them. Dad gum I lost a fish. Dad, can I, can you please? Hey, put in your, put in your jacket, or put in your jacket. Hello, I'm in a bubble. I'm nice and warm. You're nice and warm? Yeah, Team right. Kentucky, y'all killed them. They caught a bunch of fish, man. They had the spot. They're like fishing out in the deep and just one after another they were catching them. Ah, dang, come in. I don't know if y'all could see the, the, the cork go down, but I was just talking and got one. Dang, gum. I'll stay and fish at night. When you come out here, make sure you have all your safety equipment in the boat because marine patrols, they will pull you over. The FWC, they're always out and around about and bring some warm clothes. She's got all her clothes, her warm clothes. She just wants to wear mine. It's moist out here. And so, although you think, oh yeah, it's super duper warm. And that sun starts going down, and it starts to cool down, it gets cold. Hey, hey, get this right here. Rip, 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 rip. I got this fish right here. Come on, Papa. I was literally filming that when that went under. Big old crappie. Nice one. Big one. Did y'all see that? I was literally filming that. I was filming when that, that, that bobber went down. I was like, that's not a cutaway. That's real life. Yeah. <laughs> we came out here and just fished and caught a bunch of crappie and had a bunch of fun. And one catfish. And one catfish. But we had a lot of fun. Now we're gonna go back, we're gonna flay up some fish, we're gonna clean them up, we're gonna cook them up. It's called fresh fish for dinner on deer meat for dinner. Hey, who's been around long enough to know that in the very, very beginning, I actually had two channels, one called fresh fish for dinner, one called deer meat for dinner. Fresh fish is still out there, but I don't, I don't upload. I don't upload to it anymore. Now all the people are heading back, start going on the boat ramp. And, and uh, eating our food. 
we'll be heading home. Thank you guys. We'll see you in just a second. What do you smell, Mav? What do you smell? Yes. What do you think, Camo? What do you think, Mav? It's always nice to have a motor that when you come out here, it just runs. What happened today? Well, you took my good rod and you caught all the fish. <laughs> I'm hooked. I got a big old fish. This is like my biggest one yet. Look at that. Wow. Gosh dang, y'all. Yeah, boy. Got him. Another big one. Golly, it's getting dark and I'm still catching fish. Look at that. Is that a bass? Wow. I'm probably not gonna get invited back to Illinois. He's gonna be like, yeah, you can come in August and hang out if you want. I mean, I got a spot up on the hill. There's never been a deer there, but you can probably go sit in that tree. Typically, we go back to the house, cook up a bunch of fish, but these boys drove all the way down from uh, Tennessee, right? That's right, yeah. They're fans of the channel, and so we came here, this is called Lunkers. We're from Tennessee. What part? Uh, Lobelville. Middle, Low? middle Tennessee. Where, are you all from the same area? I'm I'm from close to Jackson, Tennessee. Who are you gonna say hey to? Um, Just say it, your mom. Hey mom, what's oh, going on? <laughs> yeah, there you go. I guarantee you they're not getting in any trouble. <laughs> yeah. We're about to eat though. Yeah. Well, I kind of slept in today. I'm out here. Check this thing out. This is my cleaning dock made by Seaward Systems. And next week, we will be at the Miami International Boat Show with Suzuki. My inset is gonna be there. Seaward's gonna be there. So if you wanna check out the, the, the fish cleaning dock, go to the Miami Boat Show. I'll be there, I'll be in Suzuki. You can see my boat, you can see it all. But check this out. Oh yes, there's our crappie. I'm gonna try to do this myself. Austin's stuck in the snow and I'm cleaning fish barefooted. Come right in here. Most people, or a lot of people, use electric flay knives. I don't. I use my Silver Stag Woods and Water. It's a great knife for this. You have a lot of feel, and you really save a lot of meat. Turn around here. Just like that. There you go. Then... Cut it off. Huh? Hey, come on out here, Floyd. I use a regular knife. Floyd uses an electric knife. That's because I test so many and I don't have time to mess around with a regular knife. What happened yesterday? Uh, somebody took my rod. <laughs> So whether you use a regular knife or an electric knife, the key is crappie are great to eat. Now tonight we're having an amazing meal. We got stone crabs, steak, fish, tons of friends are coming over and you're gonna see it all. We're about to eat good, y'all. Real quick, watch this, sneak peek. See that right there? That's 15 pounds of stone crabs that Baba picked up yesterday. And right now we're gonna experiment with something so we're gonna have a good time tonight, but this is a beforehand look. We're gonna salt them. Not a lot, but just enough. We're gonna get some fresh cracked pepper on there. This is some Everglaze, original. See this thing right here? My friend uh, Seth McGinn makes it. Take our fish, put them right on top there, just like that. There's flour in the bottom. These are a little bit cold, but it's okay. When they hit that frying pan, they won't be cold anymore. And just dredge them. Get them all covered up in flour, just like that. Then, 
just like this. Now the fish is in top. Perfect. Take your fish, one side, just, just one side. Just like that. So you do flour, then you do eggs, then you do coconut. Just like that. Gonna be perfect. Just like that. Ooh. Ooh yeah, now watch this. We got some peanut oil right there. Just like they say, now you're cooking with peanut oil. That's a fact, we are. Take your fish, lay it down just like that. You don't want it too hot, just where it's bubbling like that. If it's too hot, it's gonna burn. Ooh yeah. Ooh, meat side down. I didn't do that on purpose, but we had exactly one pan full full of fish. That happened on accident. You only flip it one time. And the, the once the coconut goes down, it's gonna brown. Browns really fast because it got a lot of sugar, because it has a lot of sugar in it. Got a little bit of sauce there. Mmm. Mm. It's hot, man. It's really good. How good? Like scale of one to ten. Ten. A ten? Okay. Got a ten, y'all. Very hot. Are we gonna cook it tonight or what? Yeah. Thumbs up. Tastes great, man. Hey. It's hot too. Straight out of the frying pan. I love that. It's like delicate because the speck, the crappie is delicate, but it has that sweet, crunchy flavor from the coconut. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Now, we're gonna get ready for tonight. We're gonna have a good time and uh, we'll see you guys next time. If you haven't already, please, this is our family. Subscribe, ring the little bell. Stay tuned to more that's to come. We have so many cool things that we're about to do. And next week, we'll be down in Miami at the Suzuki booth with the Inseta. Come see us. Love you guys. We're at Miami Boat Show. We'll see you soon. Take care. God bless. And guess what? Maverick's even on me because I let him lick it. And he's like, yeah, no, I don't want it. <laughs> we gone.